wanted to actually start asking you, Cozy, about the piece, um, about the piece that you made for this exhibition. Um, yeah, how did it uh, how did it come about? What was the uh, inspiration for it? I I received an email from an invitation to do an audio work for Soundworks, and um, I read through it and saw what it and you know what the subject matter was and everything. And then shortly afterwards, I received an email from a friend of mine with some MP3s, audio files, which were specifically related to her um, chemotherapy treatment and with a description with them, telling me all about how it was so time-related. So the synchronicity of these two emails arriving at the same time, they married up into what then became my audio work for this exhibition. So it was all very much about time, even um, the opportunity of the two emails arriving together and her description of um, how she felt um, with the uh, effect of the toxic chemotherapy drugs was that it completely messed time up for her. She had no idea what, where she was at any specific time or how long the treatment was going. So these files were an opportunity for me and for her. I wrote back to her immediately and said, I've had this invitation and this is just perfect synchronicity that we should be together talking about this and you hearing these recordings as a musical thing as well. And she wrote back immediately and said, I sent them to you because I knew you would do something with them. Uh, and the fact that this has happened is great. Exactly. And, they're my, and she just said, they're my gift to you, do whatever you want with them, yeah. which I did. I, um, about a week later, because I was in the middle of another project, I sat down and worked on it and then sent the finished piece to her and said, I hope from the descriptions, she'd sent me in emails of how she felt along the journey of this chemo because I went from the beginning. The piece is an audio representation of her from the beginning of her chemo to when she comes to the end of it, which was an elated feeling she had. Um, and I used photographs she sent me and audio files that she originally sent. Um, and I sent it to her and said, I hope it represents that submerging that you felt and you described where you went down into another world with a different time zone. Mm. Um, but we were still aware of things around you, but in a different way. And she was absolutely over the moon with it. She yeah. said you couldn't have captured it any better. Because it was quite a vivid description she sent me. Yeah. Yeah. for me to work with as well. For those of you who haven't heard it, it's a really beautiful 20 minutes. Um, sort of desperately melancholic in lots of ways, certainly when you've read the, the, the source of the sounds. Uh, about, yeah, really meditating around issues around time, which, of course, the, the piece downstairs also does um, in, a sort of, in a sort of slightly different way where it's about perhaps stretching time or not. Um, well, she was hoping to extend time mm. in her lifetime by going through this treatment. Yeah. And the treatment was time-specific, rate-specific for the different chemicals to her. Therefore, you got these different rhythms coming from the pumps and mm. the drip-drip of the chemicals going through her. So it was a very personal piece. I wanted it to be specifically personal. Yeah. Just because it arrived to me that yeah. way.